Hey guys, welcome back to Carly's Creations. And today I wanted to hop on and show you um, how I make my crackle um, tumblers. Um, it's actually a lot easier than you might think, but um, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Don't mind the snowfalls, I'm so sorry. I've been sick for like a week. My body just cannot kick this cold. So, um, what I'm gonna use, and I will um, link everything in the description below for you. Um, I'm gonna use these little 10 ounce Ozark tumblers. Um, and the only thing I've done so far is I just spray painted them. Um, it is a vintage teal. It's a really pretty color. So I'll put that in the description for you. Um, so we're going to do two of them. Um, what I'm going to use to create the crackle, you're going to need a little medicine cup or a paper plate. That's fine too. A brush. And I use this. The crackle medium. I've seen a couple of videos where people use like Elmer's glue and stuff, and then um, I saw somewhere someone used this, and I came across it and tried it for myself, and it was just really easy. Um, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So this is what I use, um, and I'm going to show you how we do it. Okay, so we spray painted the cups. I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to get my crackle medium, and I'm just going to pour some in my little medicine cup. Okay, you want to fully coat your cup here. It's going to go on clear, okay, just like that. And I just go up and down, um, just as if I were applying a Mod Podge, so we don't to do glitter. So I'm just going to make sure you get every single part of the cup. This is what's going to make your paint crackle. So if you miss a spot, it's not going to crackle in that spot that you missed. So you don't want to do that. Okay. It's going to have bubbles. That's okay. They'll go away. They won't hurt anything. Okay. Don't forget the bottom. There we go. And then once I get it all on, I kind of just go back and just kind of smooth it out. I don't want clumps. It needs to be nice and smooth. That will remove some of the bubbles. But like I said, it's okay. Those will go away. You won't have those. Okay. All right. That is one cup. So we're now we're going to do the next cup. Once you get this on, you're going to want it to dry. I let it dry a few hours at least, if not overnight. Um, you, you want to make sure that it is completely dry before you add any paint. It'll be dry to the touch. It almost kind of feels like, like a spray adhesive. Once it's dry, you'll be able to tell. There's that cup. Make sure you get it all the way to the top. And don't forget your bottom. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back around one more time. Just to make sure it's all smooth. Sorry. Sometimes I forget I'm filming. Forgive me. Alright, so now that that's all smoothed out, we're going to turn that over, we're going to let that dry. Um, it is later in the day, it's almost um, dinner time, so I'm going to let these sit completely undisturbed overnight, um, and then any extra that you have in your little cup, just pour it back in for next time. You actually use very little. This will last you a while. I've done, I don't even know how many I've done. And it's still, it's still most full. It's all the way, it's up to here. So it takes very little of this um, 
it'll go a little will go a long way so all right I'm gonna let these dry completely overnight until they are all the way dry to the touch and then um, I will come back and show you how to paint it and you get that crackle look okay see you in the morning okay so we are back it is the next morning um, I let our cups sit um, undisturbed overnight so they are dry to the touch um, they do feel like I said, kind of like you put a ceiling on them, and that's okay. That's what you want them to feel like. So, all right, now the fun part. Little, this is the only tricky part, I would say, out of the whole process. So, um, the top coat, we are going to use, um, she wants a cream. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and use this cream colored, it's called Buttercream, um, and it's a acrylic paint. You want to make sure you put an acrylic paint um, for your top coat. So, um, I will put this in the description below for you as well. I'm going to get my little medicine cup. These things are awesome. I got a pack of, I think, a hundred or something like that for like a dollar or 62 or something crazy like that. So I'll put those in the link for you. I use them for everything, for cups, paint, um, my soaps when I'm mixing up colors for soaps, every, everything. And I always put a little bit extra in here, more than I think I might want to need. <laughs> Um, I can always put it back, but because you have to work pretty fast on this part, um, I don't want to run out of paint. So, okay, I'm going to put this cup over here. Okay, so now, when it comes to painting this with the acrylic paint for the crackle look, I'm going to dip my brush. I'm going to get a lot on my brush, and you're going to go one even stripe at a time. Do not go back over it only once and that's it so you want to make sure that you have enough paint on your paintbrush to get that full coat of paint if you go hey buddy if you go back over it again you're going to get some weird streaks and that that's not what you want you want the crackle but not the streaks if that makes sense so i'm going to dip my brush okay you see i have i have a good amount on there i'm going to go from the bottom to the top it does dry pretty quickly. Okay. A little bit more. You'll start to see it crackle pretty, pretty fast. You can already start to see it crackle. You see it? Okay. I'm going to keep going because you got to go kind of fast with this. And then you'll see by the time I get around to the other side, that will already have started crackling. This part you got to work pretty fast with. Like I said, make sure you have enough paint. All right, so there. And we're going to do the bottom, same thing. It dries quickly. Okay. Oh, see, you got a little swipe mark. That's okay. But all right. So you can kind of see. See how that's crackling already? Pretty cool, huh? So it, it is easy to get that crackle look. So easy. Like I said, for me, probably the painting. This part is probably the hardest part, and those streak marks will go away. It's just because it's wet. But you can see how it's crackling. Okay. So we're going to set this down. We're not going to touch it. And we're going to do our other cup. Same thing. Okay. We're going to start from the bottom. All the way to the top. More on your brush. doing the same thing you just want one good even stroke per row if that makes sense I guess it's a row <laughs> I don't know you know what I mean right okay okay one more okay now we're into the bottom Nice and even all the way around. There we go. So 
See, it's already crackling. Crackle, crackle, it's so awesome. This is probably one of my favorite design cups to do. Okay, so we're gonna set that here. We're gonna let that dry. Little clump, oops, okay. So to kind of give you an idea, you saw how much I put in my cup before. This is how much I have in my cup now. So in reality, I didn't use a whole lot of paint, but like I said, I always want to put extra more than I think I'm going to need because the last thing you want to do is start putting it on your cup and then you run out of paint and then you're going to have to stop to put more in your cup and then your cup messes up and then you're like me, you kind of just want to cry and throw it out the window. So to avoid crying and throwing out the window, make sure you put some extra paint in. But it's just like glitter, whatever you use, you don't use, put back. And that's it. So we are going to let these cups dry. Um, it is morning now. It's probably, I think, 8.30 in the morning. So um, I wanted to get these done now. Um, I do have a couple errands to run, so I'll be out of the house for a while today. I'm going to let these dry for several hours. And then tonight, um, I'm going to put the first layer of epoxy on them. And that is the same as you do with any other cup. Mm, there's no special tricks as far as doing that. But you do want to 100% want to make sure that your paint is dry before you do that. So if it's if it's not really hot out, maybe wherever you live is really cold. Um, it never hurts to let it sit a little bit longer um, when it's colder outside. Um, sometimes I'll let it sit overnight. Sometimes I let it sit overnight just for peace of mind, and that's okay too. So, um, and that's it. And then. After you do your epoxy and that cures, you can either be done, or from there you can add whatever vinyl or you or water slide or anything like that that you would like. Um, I do have a cup that I did similar colors to this with a water slide that I can show you. Hang on. Okay, so these are two tumblers that I have right now that I did the crackle look on. So this one underneath is like a burgundy, and then this is with a water slide image. She wanted her logo on there. Sorry, that's not really focusing. So there's that one. And then this one has a similar teal. It's a little bit darker than the one we used on there. Um, it has the, the antlers with the flowers. So I like the water slides on these. I think it's kind of cool the way that if you can kind of see how the crackle kind of comes through the image. Sorry, my camera's having a hard time focusing. Um, but I think it looks kind of cool when it's all said and done. Um, so, um, and I can do a video on water slides with these two if you'd like. So, um, I'm actually working on another video that I'll be posting probably in a couple of days um, where I'm applying a water slide. It's on a glitter tumbler, but it, you can still see how I apply it. Um, and then I can also do a video um, showing you start to finish um, how to print out the water slide and apply it to your cup. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know below. Don't forget to leave a like if you've liked it. And if you want to see more, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.